Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello, good morning. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to an early start today to get the ball rolling, sending some of my cars from the UK to the Netherlands for the Amsterdam Motor Show, the IAMS. We're going to be loading six cars into one big truck, one big articulated lorry to take them all on their journey to be on display throughout the event. So we need to go over to the car storage. We're going to be loading up the McLaren Senna and the Ford GT, also the McLaren 675LT Spider the Aston Vantage GT8. Of course, I'm bringing the new Ferrari GTC4 Lusso, the latest Shmi Mobile, and we're also going to bring this little pocket rocket, the freshly mount-tuned engined Focus RS. I'm gonna be leaving the AMG GTR here. My Focus RS Heritage Edition is currently at my place in Frankfurt, but let's get started. Take the Red RS over to the storage to get this mission underway before I then fly out for a press event, come back to join you in Amsterdam, and we'll get the cars unloaded there. I'm definitely going to be sad not to be bringing the GTR, but that's done many different Euro adventures. Today, though, we're kicking off with the Red RS, fresh from its upgrades, including the Mountain intercooler. But let me come round, take a step inside, get the car fired up, and get this, well, series of errands underway. It's going to take a while to load up all of these cars, all six of them. I think we've got a pre... Yes, that burble sounds good. We've got a predefined order for how we're going to do all of this. Of course, I've barely driven this car since it was done. I've barely driven the GTC or so since it was done. But I've had to prepare all the cars, clean all the cars, equip them with the right things inside them. Also, make sure that they're all low on fuel. That's been one of the particularly big challenges to be on display inside an arena. But let's drive on over to a couple of minutes to the storage from my home and get started working out how we're going to do this. Here we go then, the Lusso the Senna, the GT, the GT8, and the 675LT. They're all currently covered. We need to fold those neatly, put them away inside, unplug all of the trickle chargers, which of course also need to come just in case uh, they're needed at any point during all of this. But basically, an order has been predetermined. We're going to be starting off with the Lusso, um, but basically, this might end up taking, I think, a fair amount of time, but we will get cracking on. Covers are all off, but of course, to pop those away, we basically need to unlock each car. So I've got a lot of the keys here. I'm gonna go through these, um, get the boots open. Actually, we can do the Lusso boot from the key. I press and hold that. There we go, that's opening up, powerful boot at the back there. Unlock the center. Then we will unlock the GT. Can pop open the GT's boot. There we go, you heard that pop. Then I need to do a little key swap in my pocket. Now the GT8, this is quite funny. It's like a key, uh, pop the boot. There we go, and the LT. Magic, all the cars are there for now open. So let me get the covers folded away and popped into the boots. It's time to hear the startups of all of the cars and we're gonna get started with the GTC4 Lusso. So it will be valved, but let's take a listen to the new V12 coming into life. You see what I mean about the valves? We might have to get them open. When you have run the car and it's warmed up, that actually gets uh, substantially louder, um, which is definitely what we're gonna need out of it in the very, very near future. Off it bubbles. So, what shall we do next? As I come behind the backs of all of the cars here in the car storage. And the next one, the noisiest of the bunch, the Aston GT8 with, well, listen to this. That thing is madness, absolute madness. <laughs> I love it. Next then, the center. I'm gonna jump into uh, the center. Let's just double click the key to open the door. Have a step inside here, not exactly the noisiest, but probably the hardest to climb into. So, taking a seat, here we go. Then to start it up, button up on the roof. And it's into light. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna drive this one on out there. And then we're down to two. So, for GT, let's come through. Left-hand drive, of course, for the GT. Heading to a left-hand drive country for the first time with this car. Again, a bit awkward and fiddly to climb in, but when you are in, and due to the lack of boot, the cover is traveling in the footwell, you can start it up um, just like this. So take a listen. Into life we go. So an ultimate car to take out to get loaded. 
Well, this is certainly very odd. Just Benzene's Mustang at the end and the LT. So I'm gonna have to come around on the other side of the pillar. Let's climb in here and uh, take out, well, the uh, fifth, sixth, I'm not sure how you count them, if you include the Red RS in this. Slide on in, there we go. Made that a little bit awkward for myself, carrying a bunch of car keys, but. Into life it fires, and the LT comes out as well. We're doing this then, to the so up top. Very carefully. We are having great fun doing this. Of course, this car is incredibly wide, but we need to get it as far back as possible because we've got so many big and long cars. So here I am, hanging out at the window of the new Lusso, talking to you guys while we load it into the back of the, uh, the Arctic truck. This is going to be quite interesting how it all goes. Yeah, we'll catch up, catch up. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. Right. There's one. <laughs> One down! Yeah. And the slightly uh, interesting way, I'm basically going to come face out. I'm doing a uh, walk the street here. But I made it out of the GTA. Oh, carefully does it. Magic, just like that. Woo! In goes the Red RS. And there's a Gumball 3000 sticker there that I hadn't noticed before. Um, but I'm actually standing out for this one to make my life a touch easier. But how cool is this? Red RS GT8 Lusso up top. We're making some progress. Of course, first time I'm really hearing the sound of this with the new uh, sport downpipe. Yeah, nice burbles. <laughs> The Lusso, the GT8, the Red RS, the LT, the GT, and the Senna, all six cars, literally in one big truck. Now, like I said, I need to go from here on a flight to a press launch to attend, then another flight to Amsterdam, where I will be reunited with the cars, and we'll get them all unloaded, ready for the show. Fast forward then and you rejoin me in the Netherlands. This is Rye Amsterdam, the hall where my cars are going to be on display. You can see a few cars have already arrived, a very nice lineup of Ferraris over there, a couple of Astons behind, but there are many more inbound and the truck bringing my cars should be here very shortly. So we'll head outside and see if we can find it. Hello there, GT12. Almost didn't spot it, very stealthy in the full black. What a beast though, Aston GT12. Here it is then, this is the truck that for you guys just a few minutes ago we loaded up in London, apparently with a California number plate, although I'm not so sure it's been to the United States. But it is totally surreal and crazy that we have put six of the cars to bring here to be on display inside the show in one big articulated lorry to bring them over from the UK to the Netherlands. This is actually really, really cool. I'm looking forward to meeting many of you here at the show as well but let's uh i think we won't be able to unload right there we'll get the truck taken over to somewhere where we can open it up and get all the cars out kind of reversing the process to get them unloaded and onto the stand this is schmark's new job pushing a, uh, a spiker prototype pushing pushing cars around <laughs> Okay. 
Well, it's quite fun just to be here as different cars come through. A Lamborghini Urus, and I've spotted down there, I think it might be a 911R, and you can perhaps just see the yellow behind of an F12 TDF. I take that back, it's a GT3 Touring, and you can tell that by looking at the lower section of the front bumper. You can just see it's the shape of a Touring as opposed to a 911R. Here comes the truck then, but what's also cool is the car right behind it, a Lamborghini Murcielago SV LP670 Super Veloce, satin black, Nero Nemesis, the colour. But this is our truck. To be unloaded, that's also got a very noisy exhaust. I can hear as it's bowling away. We will get these doors opened up in a second, and uh, yeah, it's go time. Getting all the doors opened up then, LT and RS, Lusso and GT8. This is still totally, totally weird. You can see the way they're all pitched. I realize that you guys are obviously seeing this literally moments after you've seen them all going in. For me, it's been two nights in between. But uh, yeah, the last door opened up and then it'll be time to open the rear. And uh, check that out. And the back opens up as well. So I need to take a few quick pictures because it's not every day that you do this kind of logistical move. Time then for the first one. Obviously the easiest, the left-hand drive. And I think, yeah, I can get in here very easily thanks to having the window down. So, look, here we go. Let's uh, get the GT. Start it up. Alive we go. So, check this out. Look at the front wheels. The near instant lift system. You probably can't hear me. Get this off. is so much narrower that I literally didn't even need to point. I just went straight and off. Anyway, we'll go put this indoors and come back again. Oh, the challenges of doing this, hey. Up again. There you go. See you in a mo. being safe and careful and that's what's important. Down we go. Back in a sec. Oh, the last one then. Fortunately, it's reversed it. So I'm on the right side of the car for once. Thank goodness. 
Let's kick the B12 into life then. And down we come. Honestly, the view from here, well, obviously I can't see what's underneath me at all. All I can see is that we were up in the air. <laughs> Honestly, my heart is pulsing. That was, that's quite scary, doing it forwards. It's much better doing it in reverse because you've got the rear view camera to see the ground. There we go. Down and out then. All good? Go, Joel. Off we go. Back in a sec. And we are just about done. We're not entirely finished because the cars all need to be straightened up here inside the area, but we have brought them all in. All six now parked together, which feels a bit surreal. And we are quite early birds. You can see there's a lot still to arrive here. And this hall and the other halls are going to be filled with some of the very best cars in the world. I've seen the list of the cars that are due to be here and I cannot wait for what I'm going to be filming and what we're going to be taking a look at in the coming days but my cars will be positioned right here throughout IAMS for the entirety of the show I'm going to be here as well for the Thursday Friday and Saturday sadly I can't make it for the Sunday but all of the cars will remain in place although as I say not in the place they're in right now we need to just straighten and move them around a touch after all we've brought them to a motor show but they're all fully cleaned they've all had uh, obviously the fuel tanks I had to make sure they were all empty before we park them all up but we're quite happy with how we've chosen to display them you can see the pairings going on those two a generation from well two or three years ago when both cars arrived the hatchbacks in the center opposite ways round and then well the two I think really extreme cars uh, at the end I think most people coming to visit will come in either that way or from one of the other halls through the uh, door that you can just see behind the sign over that away but this is totally surreal for me um, massive kind of crazy pinch moment to be here at a, a well-recognized motor show with the stand of cars to meet with some of you guys um yeah it's all a little bit crazy but we've done it we've brought them all in one very very big truck from london here to the netherlands and well how cool is this so thank you very much for watching guys i'm looking forward to catching up with many of you here during the weekend thanks to those who arranged and made all of this possible thanks to smink transport for bringing the cars over safely and uh yeah looking forward to it thanks for watching i'll see you very soon Cheers.